right, spring training always provides us memorable moments. This past Wednesday, for the D before the D-backs and A's game in Mesa, we got one. That is Cardinals linebacker right there, Dennis Gardeck. He is throwing out the first pitch to his brother, Oakland A's pitcher Ian Gardeck. Kind of a semi-strike there. Ian said before the, uh, before the game that night, Dennis was up late, ar uh, panicking around the house, watching YouTube videos on how to throw baseball. That's why he threw a knuckleball. But it's how they got to this point that makes this a really special moment. This is life for the Gardeck brothers these days. We're off to a rough start here. <laughs> Two brothers living together in Arizona, both living out their dreams of being professional athletes. What a journey, what a, what a blessed journey we've had. We were talking last night of like, we were doing the same stuff as kids on a much smaller scale. Dennis, a hard hitting linebacker and special teamer, <laughs> just finished his second season with the Cardinals. And Ian is going on year nine in the pros. This season, he's a non-roster invitee to A's big league camp. Still chasing that first big league call up. It's really cool. You know, I always have somebody that, that understands kind of what we're going through. Whatever you're feeling at that moment, knowing that that person has been through it, it's great. And especially that it's family, it, it makes the conversation easier. Ian's career has been anything but easy, from top pitching prospect to having to recreate the right side of his body. Two Tommy Johns, a hip labrum, an elbow scope. But with each down in life comes an up that he never expected. When you're going through a hard time, if you're not receptive to things, you're going to miss things uh, along the way. While Ian was rehabbing his second Tommy John surgery in the fall of 2017 at Fisher Institute in Phoenix, Ian started recommending his brother Dennis come train here leading up to the NFL draft. Like, hey, I got a brother who's really good. Can you help him out? And, you know, you get those like, yeah, everybody's brothers can play football. And I was like, no, this this cat can play. Kept telling me I was good. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you didn't say that, there would be a problem. But <laughs> but he backed it with, with his money and everything. So, so he really believed that I could do it. From small D2 football in Sioux Falls to training where some of the elites train on his brother's dime. Dennis impressed so much when he got here. Head trainer Brett Fisher called the Cardinals. He just kept putting his head down, going to the office every day, going to work, going to work. Yeah, I remember being real nervous, him about to spend a lot of money on, on me training down here and just making sure that I was putting everything I could into it because he was investing a lot also. A few months later, they signed him as an undrafted free agent in 2018. Two years later, Dennis was named a Pro Bowl alternate, and it all started because Big Brother had some faith. I saved up all my OTA checks, and then by the end of training camp, I pretty much had him paid off, but all my money was going to him. I didn't, <laughs> you know, I felt, I knew I owed him, so yeah. that was the first thing I wanted to do. The only requirement now, carry each other's jersey in their locker and be super loud when the other one's playing. Got yeah. him. You just want him to do so well, because uh, the journey has been long and it has been hard, and you want to see all of it pay off. And I'm so proud of him. I, I think some of the guys probably here, getting you know sick of me talking about him I just can't say enough about the hard work and you know he's that guy that gives you hope 92 must be a lucky number the Gardeck brothers they're a talented bunch you got two pro athletes another one is a doctor and the youngest Alex who you just saw right at the end there he will earn his degree in mechanical engineering from ASU a little bit later on this year like I said they're all talented